to my haters, to everybody who just, you know, saying, you know, a bunch of energy to me. Fuck you and go to hell. Like, a bunch of, like, booed ass. Like, look, I'm returning back to Cinder. And I ain't, I ain't sending it back in a gentle way. I'm sending it back the way that you've been attending it for me. Baby. No, I only put the baby there because I, I, I felt it wrong. But, you know, so today we're going to be talking about distractions. And, you know, this is going to be, you know, before I really go into it. So it's not really, you know, distraction. You get distracted by everything. So it's really what you want to distract yourself in. And, like, you can get, the thing is, you can get lost in making music or you can get lost into listening to music. So it's like, what post shift do you want to be on? Do you want to be the distractor? Or do you want to be the distracted? Now, once you have that, you know, make your choice and do all of that. Once you do that, we're going to, um, I'm going to be giving you a list of ways on how you could, you know, stop being distracted so easily and, you know, getting, like, not able to actually function, you know, in, uh, 100% of your abilities without, you know, getting sidetracked. You know, you say you're going to do this change, but, you know, what happens is, you know, the next day you do the same thing or... If it's not that you do the same thing, then it's you, uh, it's you, uh, you think in the same way. So, you know, you're still giving off thoughts that's making you act this, this way. Okay. So the first on my list of avoiding distractions, identify your biggest distraction and try to eliminate them. You know, so the thing is, right, with all us, I'm not human, but with all y'all, right, with all y'all, right, you don't want the truth. So if you just tell yourself the problem that you know you got and you fix that one problem, that one problem is going to make your life a lot more better than you trying to fix all other problems or somebody else's problems that you know that you really can't fix, but you just like a temporary like Band-Aid for that moment. Or something that make you temporary band-aid make you get away from fixing that. So look, if you identify what's your visit biggest distraction, you will be able to eliminate them much quicker when they occur. Now the second on my list, create a designated workspace that is free from distractions. So you know, a place where you know you are um it's just all work, no play, and it's like, you know, ain't nobody in that place that is like putting you in a place where you getting distracted like ain't no class clown like in this type of area ain't nobody trying to you know get your attention in this type of area it's just you and your creativity the full the full workspace and then you know third turn off notification on your phone and computer if you turn off your notification on your phone and computer you won't be scrolling to no twitter no all of that like instagram youtube tiktok you won't be going to no google none of that shit like you won't be seeing the news on the side none of that shit you won't just turn notifications off you know but i'm saying like for your apps now you can have your notifications on for your people your girl your husband your mom your dad your og if you want to now you could turn that shit out too, man, for the whole time. Especially if you ain't no use for nobody. You don't got no, you ain't reliable at all. Fuck, you have your shit on, nigga. Get to work. Get to work. But, like, on some real shit, though, get real shit, though, you know, to avoid distractions, you know, you know, put D&D on, turn your phone notifications off and computer notifications off so you could be, whenever it's time to work, you be more efficient. And now the fourth way to avoid distractions from me, Loki Ferg, you know, use your predict, productiv- pro- pro- hold on, productivity apps to help you stay focused on a task. So here are some uh, productivity apps, you know, a uh, fitness tracker, um, uh, walkers and this one keeps tracks of your walk and your fitness tracker it will um it will actually you know give you uh your height you tell it your height and it'll tell you, you know how much you should eat and then it'll tell you um how much how long you should run for a day or it'll you know it'll give you some activities that you could participate and do if you choose to do them and it'll like tell you that you'll lose as much calories if you do it for this long all of that stuff but um the fifth and you know on avoiding distraction prioritize your task and focus on the most important one so make sure you know if if you got a task make sure you do your task and whatever is the most important one on that list make sure you prioritize it and while you you know you're saying this is the one that uh, i'm going to you know make sure i uh do then you make sure that that's the uh that's the one that gets done before all the other ones on your list 
And that's how you can avoid distractions. Because if you focus on the ones that you know you got to complete, this will make you know straight up into it. Because you know this, this is the one that you have to complete. Now, six, the sixth one. You have to use a timer or schedule to break up your work and to manage chunks because if you know a timer it'll let you know okay I spent this much longer here so you gotta know you gotta be strong enough and disciplined enough to be like okay I'm done with that and then move to something else so you know uh, you can change and see what's next after that and you know not be in that uh, predicament in that space so you're gonna have to you know let yourself to be more um, time manageable and you know uh, when you have a schedule, you will know how long, you know, how what's organized, what's to come after this. And, you know, you can allow people to know that, hey, I want to schedule. So, like, I'm not moody. I just got things to do. Now, seven, take regular breaks into to rest and recharge, you know. So, to avoid distractions, you know, it's sometimes, you know, you got to slack. Allow yourself to slack, you know, and, you know, get right back up ten times harder. But just know you have to take a break. You have to, you know, you know, the, you have to have those moments. If not, you know, you just gonna, you know, fall out when you most need yourself. So, hey, practice mindfulness and stay present in the moment, in the light, in the moment. So, what what that means is, you know, silentness, breathing control, so you know your mind is still. And straight up, you know, go for walks. And the whole time, if you go for a walk, you know, that's the perfect mindfulness. You get a better idea. Or take a shower. You know, this will bring you straight to the present, especially if it's a cold one. It's going to bring you straight to the present. A cold shower is going to, you know, keep, it's going to bring you present. But it's up to you to keep being present after that moment. Now, the ninth one, avoid multitasking or focus on and focus on one thing at a time. Because, you know, it, back again in my other videos, like I was explaining, you know, when you focus on multiple things, when you're not really got a team or you're not really, you know, used to doing multiple things or you're not the best at these multiple things, you will never get, you know, actual the bet master at that one thing because you're all you're trying to master a bunch of other things at the same time. So you might never master not, none of them because you're doing so many of them. So, you know, make sure you prioritize, you know, one thing instead of multitasking because uh, multitasking will make you, you know, want to get distracted because you feel like I got so much on my plate. But uh, tenth. You know, you got to set boundaries and communicate your needs to others. Because if you know, uh, you you let the people know your lines and, you know, communicate what you want out of a, a situation, this is going to make you, you know, want to be out, want to, you know, express yourself more, be more up and out there because, you know, you know w what you would like to uh, endure. And then the 11th one, you know, find ways to stay motivated and engaged with your work. So, you know. Find, find a way that, you know, this, the work that you're doing is, like, exciting to be, like, this is just an example. It might be low dimensional, but if, if you finish this, you know, your favorite celebrity crush is going to DM you, and they're going to be, like, hey, let's go here and, you know, travel, you know, no phones. It's just me and you type shit, you know? Like, look, you know, hype yourself up. Whatever gets you in that fucking, that, that, oh, my, <laughs> type of fucking vibe, you know? But, um, and, and, and another thing is, uh, Create a routine and or schedule to help you stay on track because this will help you avoid distractions on a dramatic level. Because if you're just going place, going without go with the flow, without actually knowing where to go, you just you know allowing yourself to be pushed around, and be a doormat. You want to be a doormat? Stepped all over. Now, thirteen. Use noise canceling headphones or listen to music to help you concentrate. Put on some meditation music, or you know, you can actually get some noise canceling headphones and straight up focus. Like noise canceling headphones, just putting on some headphones that it block out the whole noise. All you do is hear yourself. Fourteen. Keep your workspace clean and organized. Make sure that you keep clean. Like every time you see some type of junkiness or something that is off, you know, make sure you pick it up. You know, don't uh, don't allow yourself to uh, get comfy with with junkiness and you know uh 15 avoid social media and other time wasting websites so like you can be on social media if you're using it for a reason like i'm using it mine to inspire you know because this could be in front of millions of people and you know every single day is a moment that you could reach a person so you know if uh i'm using it for uh, a, a good instead of allowing myself to just scroll and my whole life get pushed away and just wasting my time on uh, websites on like you know 
uh, sexual uh, intercourse in websites or, you know, some type of dating website or anything, you know, that could be just a waste of time. And, you know, you have to start to uh, prioritize your time because you can't get that back. And so that's how time is the most valuable thing in the world. You can get money back, but you can't get your time back. So what they do, they make you work until you feel old. You so old that, you, you know, they, they got all your time. And, you know, you, there's other people that's way younger than you. They didn't do all that that time in there and they got, you know, um, big bucks and, you know, they're still young, but, you know, what they did was, you know, they seen how valuable their time was and they seen that, that, whatever that, that was, it was just, you know, just, uh, a, a little hamster on a heel running all day long or running all year long, running for years long. 16. Use a planner or calendar to keep track of your schedule and deadline. So if you have on your phone, like, you know, your calendar app and it'll tell you, you know, this day is this day, it'll pop up on your, your, your screen um on your lock screen when you don't have nothing and then the 17th one stay hydrated and nourished throughout the day so the more that you you know you drink and water the more that you know you're gonna have a lot of time peeing and the more that you go pee you don't have time to get distracted being other people's business have time to listen to gossip you're not gonna have no other time to do any of that shit because you'll be too busy peeing and working peeing and working peeing and working 18 take care of your physical needs such as getting enough sleep and exercise and you know what i mean by that though is like if you don't look at your physical and you know take care of that and take care of your emotional and then you know take care of your spiritual all of this like you know get enough uh sleep in all these realms you know sometimes you gotta sleep on your emotions sleep on your you know your feelings like let that shit be like you know whatever you thinking spiritually in your your head you know uh intentionally you know you gotta sometimes let that shit be you know if you can't change something let that situation be don't over worry yourself over stress yourself because that shit just gonna uh, whine on your spirit and bring you down but um the 19th way find accountability partner or a group to help you stay focused like if you have somebody around you you know that you could speak to on a one-on-one -on -one level i'm somebody that you could speak to low-key there's no art what well, low-key really means y'all yeah, i got it that's gonna be the next video but you know find account accountability with a partner and a group to help you stay focused you know find somebody that you could talk to and actually trust and when you find somebody that you actually talk to and trust this is gonna put you in some a, a better position where you're going to be uh, less distracted and more focused because you know what's the goal or what's the uh, plan and then the last one but not least 20 remember why you're doing what you're doing so that you know every time that you get distracted every time that um you have something that pops in your face or you go through a triple triple relation just make sure you know you remember why you started and you commit to your goal commit to your plan commit to what you have to accomplish because it already has been done and you know that was you know distractions so if if this helped anybody you know with their distractions you know and remember the beginning i said it's not it, everything is a distraction it's what it's about what you getting distracted in is you getting uh are you distractor or are you distracted and it's up to you to choose what you want to be in this life peace